Ah oh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. My name is Rudy, you're watching Throne of Investments, and today we are going to see if Garouk's going to make an appearance, and we're going to see if my patron, Greg P, also known as GP, Greg is the secret owner of all the GPs, because that's his initials, so of course he is. Why would he not own all the GPs? His name is Greg P, right? All right, so um, that's where we're at. That's what's going on. Um, today we're going to talk about more of the uh, PAP pack mapping, the clump zone, and of course the surprise value in the non-foil specialty versions. And we're going to track the, um, the showcase frames. We're going to kind of see, we've been trying to track them starting the last video or two, to see really what we end up with. Shimmer Dragon! Here we go, everybody. Going right into a folio and a castle from Star Wars. Okay. So that's where we're starting off today. So that's what we're doing here. We've been, the new goals of these videos, we've been trying to track certain aspects of these videos. Or videos. The boxes. And one of the things we're now tracking is we're trying to see... Uh, we've been averaging 9 to 10 commons and 3 to 4 of the uncommon showcase. We're trying to see if there's patterns to that aspect of the box also. Since we've already figured out the clump zone and some other stuff. Ah, uh, never gets old, that artwork. Never gets old, everybody. And, of course, the three uncommons. Going right for the bonus, Mythic Kenrith. Very nice. Castle and a giant killer non-showcase frame. Just a regular rare there. So I hope everyone's having a great day. And I hope you've been enjoying the old throne of drain your life and wallet. Because uh, whether you have or haven't, you can't disagree that that's not gorgeous looking artwork, everybody. There's no way around that. All right, here we go. Going for the Acolyte thing in the middle. Nope, going right to the Tomb of Legends. Nice bonus rare. We got Rudy the Dwarf. And the Folio of Fancy Pants. All right. So, so far, no major hits. We're looking at just normal packs here so far. Still looking for the excitement. It's coming. Witch's Oven. Isn't that creepy looking? I don't know why. And that is a little old lady there with that little young girl. Oh, that is an uncommon foil. And here we go. Fay of Wishes. Very nice. By the way, you should see these things are selling pretty good. Those non-foils are very surprising how well they're selling. Hush Money Action and the Champion with the Lightsaber. And that is the standard foil rare, everybody. So that is where we're at. Um, again, I've been telling everyone the same thing over and over. Yes, I can. I expect prices to stay very flat at this point. They've already drifted lower and they've, they've kind of adjusted in price since the uh, release in the last few weeks. And they're kind of trying to find their way through. Been a lot of surprises, though, with the old Oko and some of these other cards, you know, looking at you, uh, what was the tree one? And uh, Fabled Passage. Well, some of these cards have really had a big surprise, am I right? Stolen and the Gilded Goose for the regular foil rare. Another good example right there. Even the Gilded Goose, just extended art, even non-foil. Like I said, some of those things, they hold surprising financial values, and they're actually selling for that. Go figure, right? Queen of the Ice. All right, here we go. Looking for some goodies here at the beginning. And no goodies in the beginning. Hey, Murderous Rider, another very surprisingly expensive little card there. And we are got the another Oko, the Trickster. This is the cheaper six-drop version. And we got the Piper of the Swarm going for boom, baby. Yes! Cauldron of Attorney. We did get a foil mythic. We have not been getting many foil mythics lately. God, that casting cost. Isn't that crazy? All right, so our first foil mythic. Very nice there. Still no uh, hot pack clump zone, so it might. We've been uh, ending up with most of the hot packs being in the, the back of the booster box in the last couple of videos. So that's been an interesting little change. Uncommons. All right, right to the Emberith. Very nice bonus rare. Harmonious Archon. Very nice. Uh, these mythic extended arts, even non foil. We got some money, everybody. Eh, just a mere made regular foil rare on that particular pack. All right, so we are at. Five packs left of box one. So I'm going to say this is going to be a nothing pack right here. This is going to be a, a no um, box top or anything exotic here. This should be our last normal pack. And then the last four should be the big daddies. All right. And no rares. And hey, a little bonus signet action. And all right, another little uh, Lord of Garen break. Oh, baby, I was wrong. <laughs> Holy GP Greg. Holy smokes. You just hit the taco flop in the face lottery, my friend. Great Henge, Box Topper, Mythic, Full Monty. One of the most expensive cards in the set. Holy smokes. You just hit it big, my friend. That's, is that, what's that, 50 $100 card? Holy crap. Wow. Okay. Merfolk for that. Woo! Okay. 
That was a nice one. I haven't seen that in a while. Holy crap, that was gorgeous too. Workshop Elder, so we are in the hot zone. Here comes the next one. Right to the Murderous Writer. Showcase Extended Art, Full Monty. Very nice card again. Holy crap, you are getting some insane, insane pulls right now. Wow. Oh, oh my goodness. I would tell you good luck, but I don't think you need it right now. Holy crap. And a nice, gorgeous looking sprite. And no bonuses in the middle. Hey, our first Brawl bonus mythic. Very nice from the old Sagwin. Castle Garenbrig and the Pyromancer for the next Full Monty box topper. Not one of the best ones, by the way. That one is not one of the super expensive ones. Uh, how many was that? Was that three? Okay, so with this one, well, maybe we'll get five. Every once in a while you get five, but usually you just get two. Or, I'm sorry, not two. Two and two, so a total of four. So this one is definitely going to be a hot pack. So we're going to see if we can get ourselves. Ooh, nice little mace, a little bonus there. All right, Pyromancer. Midnight Clock for the fourth Full Monty card. There it is, everybody. Now, this last pack, are we going to get a fifth one? Or are we just going to stall out and go back to a normal pack? This is a weird one. I cannot. I actually don't know how this pack's going to unfold. Ooh, nice Swordmaster. All right. And, wow, we haven't gotten anything good in the middle lately. Oh, Thornwood Falls. Midnight Clock, we did! A fifth. We did get a bonus from the positioning. Very, very nice, everybody. See, I feel like when that happens and we get a fifth instead of our normal four, I feel like what happens is the next box, whatever in the print box or print run was, it will be short one. That's how I feel about that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we ended up with our normal nine. And did we end up with the normal four? We did. So we ended up with nine and four. All right, so we're going to go to box two here. So the trend is continuing as far as the quantity. Of the uh, first two showcase frames there. So that trend is holding, uh, still holding true, everybody. Uh, but very interesting fifth hit there. That was a very interesting. That's not, now that is very unusual. Uh, no special Okos or Garuks in the middle slot. So that's, haven't seen him in a while. All right, so here we go. Silver Flame, start the new count going here. All right, and into the uncommons, nothing. And into the middle, no rares. Ah, uh, four headed Rudy the Turtle. Oh, Ember Cleave, very, very nice extended arm. Even though this isn't a foil, very good hit. And I already see we are looking at a box topper right out of the gate. Mirror made box topper. So we're going right into the hot zone right out of the gate here on this one. All right, so let's see what the next hot card is going to be. Is it going to be four in a row? Or are we just going to do this two and the other two will be in the back of the box? Uh, we got the old Shepherd of the Flock. Very beautiful card there. Yeah. Oh, Brazen Borrower. Let me tell you guys something. This is a very difficult card to get non-foil in this slot. This is this is the first time I've seen it. I think it's only the second time I've pulled this card non-foil in literally the 23 box openings we've done of this particular set. All right, so Teller of Tales, nice. And wow, there it is. Happily Ever After is our very next Full Monty Star Wars box topper with the cool hat outfit. All right, so we are looking at... So that's two... I don't know if we're going to go right. Let's jump to it. I'm curious. Because we might have a split box here. Nope. We're going right to it. Castle Ardenvale. Box topper number three. Holy crap. And an opportunistic dragon for the nun. And taste of death for the bonus rare there. And three in the middle. Anything? Nope. Just commons and uncommons. And are we getting any of the actual box? No. Nothing. Wow. Nothing in the first slot there. All right. So... Let me see here. So we are at, that's three. So we should have one more. I'm expecting a showcase frame instead of a box topper now. That, oh, a little off-centered on that little guy. Animating Fairy for the Uncommon. At least we finally got one there. All right, here we go. And nothing. Go, Command Tower. Nice hit there. Mirror Maid. And no, I was wrong. We just got three. And the Talisman. So I did pull these from the same case, so it makes you wonder. Remember how I told you guys when you get a fifth box topper, the next box will have three instead of four? I wonder if that just proved itself there. That was kind of a strange coincidence, everybody. Just laying that out there. That seems a little suspiciously uh, accurate. You guys know what I mean? All right, so here we go. Going right to it. Hey, Murderous Rider. Whoa, a little miscut Murderous Rider and a Bone Crusher. Miscut again. So nice little bonus double rare. Shimmer Dragon. Happily Ever After, and we are just a foil, wicked, regular wolf, everybody. Very interesting about that 5-3 split, though. Hmm. I wonder if that really... 
seemed a little too accurate. It seemed a little too uh, realistic, didn't it, everybody? All right, Reaper of Night for our first showcase there. Uncommons, any showcases in the uncommon? None. Any rares in the middle? No. And hey, Kenrith looking all cool with a nice little mythic there. He seems pretty easy to get in the mythic slot. Certain ones feel easier. Opportunistic Dragon and the really hot creepy chick who gives you that weird look. All right. So these are looking at two normal openings today, everybody. Not looking at any crazy home runs. These are, I'm going to call this an average 7 out of 10 opening video today. I'm not seeing a dumpster fire. I'm not seeing anything really like holy smokes. But, uh, yeah. But, uh, Chittering Witch, Star Wars The Linden, and the Master of Pranks. Wow. Right, foil, mythic. Even the regular, very nice. Now, again, when I say regular, I mean, uh, you know, again, uh, box one. Where's uh, where'd it go? We got the um, all right, never mind. I almost spent too much time looking for it. Anyways, yeah. So so far, no exotic hits here. We got the acolyte, and that is it for the commons. Nope. And uncommon, nothing. All right, Rimrock, Silver Reaper, going right to the fa uncommon fink. Gadwick and the charming creepy prince foil rare. Hmm. All right, um, I would like to see a Garouk or an Oko. It's been a while. Am I right, everybody? It's been a lot of videos. Those are not easy to pull. All right, Shepherd of the Flock. And nothing in the middle. Oko's Hospital. See, some of those feel a lot easier to get. Gilded Goose extended, even non-foil. Very nice. And a Bone Crusher. Regular foil rare, non-showcase. So, hmm. This is, uh, we're not hitting anything major in this opening. This is definitely a weaker box here, everybody. Merchant of the Veil for our first showcase. All right, order. All right, nowhere. Oh, Rowan coming through there. Very nice. I haven't seen you all video. Spyglass and a Castle Vantress regular foil rare. Well, we've only got two packs left. Hopefully, we'll get one more hot pack in the back here since we were shorted one. But I'm thinking that's not going to be the case, everybody. All right, and no. God, no showcase in the first. Uh, well, we got a giant killer there. Nice bonus rare. Banish into Fable. I, I don't see too many of those lately. And a Fae of Wishes and a Castle. Too bad that Fae. Beautiful artwork, but wish it was the showcase frame. Big price difference on that, everybody. All right, last pack, everybody. Greg, thank you very much again. Uh, nothing too exciting. Not a dumpster fire, but we did not hit any of the super exotic stuff. That sucks. So kind of a normal calm one today, everybody. Um, I'm hope oh, look at that. It did happen. We got our fourth box topper right in the back. Opportunistic Dragon. Not the greatest, but we didn't. We ended up getting it. So it was split off and cut to the end. Very interesting. Okay, uh, before we end the video, let's do one last quick count. Three, four, five, six, seven. Only eight. Wow. So even that, we were shorted one in four. Okay, so we actually had one less on the common there. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. As always, I appreciate the kind of support. As always, I appreciate the privilege and honor to entertain everybody. And thank you again, Greg, for being a very kind patron. Enjoy the cards, sir.